Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Minds and Money London 2023, resourcing tomorrow. And uh, honestly, for the first time, also new for me, we want to talk to a service provider. And don't forget, those service providers are really important for the mining industry, because without them, we would be really hard to find the metals. The company is called Excalibur Multiphysics, and we want to talk to Laura Blanco Toro, the global head of ESG. Welcome and good morning, Laura. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. Um, I mean, your name of the company is Program. So maybe you give us a short idea what your company is responsible and doing about. Yes. So Excalibur, we are the local, currently the, the global leader in uh, airborne geophysics. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we map uh, for minerals and energy, hydrogen, uh, all around the world. So we mm -hmm. use our own uh, aircraft mm -hmm. and uh, essentially flying the whole world. Okay, super. And you have uh, then also stations, like I saw here on the map already, Hyderabad, Rio de Janeiro, Geneva. Yeah, so so you are really in on all continents based. Yes, we are all over the world. We have about 13 uh, offices currently in all continents. Uh, we're operating all over the world. So depending where the project is, we mm -hmm. will use our aircraft that are based in our different hangars all mm -hmm. over the world. Uh, we have a, about 300 employees currently. Whoa. We have lots of experts, geophysicists, mathematics, mm -hmm. you know, science uh, and innovation is a big part of, of what we do. Okay, super. So if I'm a mining company and I want to do uh, ground ge geophysics, yeah, I can come to you and say, hey, listen, I want to rent uh, the pilot the airplane and then let's move it or how does it work so actually uh, almost so we are just one step uh, after the ground geophysics okay. um, so we are airborne geophysics what mm -hmm. we do is non-invasive so we fly all over the world mm -hmm. identifying areas of potential in terms of natural capital so this we do it with own technologies we have patented technologies so what we do is we equip our aircraft with very specific geophysical systems and these geophysical systems help us identify data. Mm -hmm. We obtain information from the ground mm -hmm. that is then processed by our geophysicists and then interpreted by our experts. Mm -hmm. And then we turn it into deliverables that the client can understand, like visors, oh. like maps, okay. um, control boards, and so on. Uh. So before us, there would be the, the ground geophysics. Mm -hmm. And after us is when all the mining companies would come. So essentially, we're at the very beginning of the value chain. Mm -hmm. um, but we really have a very strong sustainability uh, focus because of this. We are really helping our clients, our mining companies, governments and so on to understand that it's much better to drill in one specific area. Mm -hmm. Once we have a, let's say, a higher probability that there is something there than, you know, uh, mm -hmm. drilling 20 yeah. holes. Right. So we, we are really helping them to make decisions that are more sustainable. Yeah. So you are eliminating coincidence. Yes, <laughs> I don't want to say 100%. You know, the probabilities are high, but there's always... Uh, yeah. yeah, okay, super. Um, the thing is then about, let's say, technology. I don't want to get technical in that sense, but you said it's patented. And where do you see movements in the future in technology? I remember I, l I read an article about satellite imaging so you do things also from the sky would this be a competitive situation for you or you would say no maybe we can use that together H how would that work in the future so actually that's a very good question um, so we we do airborne geophysics and satellite imaging. Mm -hmm. So we actually have a team of experts uh, in Spain. We have a very big team of about 12 people mm -hmm. that just work with geospatial technology. So mm -hmm. they actually use the satellite imaging that is all private or public. And we use this data to analyze the same. We, we use this data to analyze where there would be potential in terms of natural capital, as well as, you know, potential uh, weather disasters. You know, it goes uh, beyond um, beyond the, the mineral world, but it's also something that we're doing at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's a solution that is out there and we need to make the most of it. We just need to find more, you know, uh, enlarge the team, get more experts that, that mm -hmm. can uh, handle this. But it's not a competitive for us now. It's actually okay. part of what we do. Okay. Uh, given the situation in the markets the last one and a half years, I mean, stock price wise, it was a nightmare. Yeah. A lot of metals and minerals are really still down in the price despite deficits already arising. So how was your business in the last, let's say, one and a half, two years? Have you felt that that companies are running out of money, doing less work or is it now improving? Because my feeling is next year starts the new resource cycle. 
So that's a good question. It's quite tricky um, because it's not only prices and inflation that has gone up, but actually there are other risks for the mining and the metals world. There's actually a very good article that I read every year that comes out from EY in November about mm -hmm. the risks and, and opportunities for the mining and metals world. ESG is always at the top of the list. Mm -hmm. So, you know, prices are going up. It's obviously harder for some countries that don't want to go into debt or that co companies that mm -hmm. don't want to go into debt to, to uh, you know, uh, risk and, and start uh, with this exploration, but it's not only that. Mm -hmm. You have ESG reporting that has been mm -hmm. a very big issue. There's local community engagement mm -hmm. that is being a very big issue. There's water stress management. Mm -hmm. So I w I'm not sure if inflation and the prices going up is my main fear. I think there's other areas that we need to also keep an eye on as, a, as an industry and uh, work together uh, you know, with mining companies and services providers. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, our narrative, what, uh, what we believe in is that there is no transition mm -hmm. without mining. It's, mm -hmm. it's generally impossible. Definitely. So what we really need to do is work together to find the ways where all of these risks, not only price, but mm -hmm. geopolitics, mm -hmm. uh, ESG mm -hmm. matters and so on, we can you know, kind of work through these together. Definitely. Um, so just coming back to your business before we come to ESG more in detail, was the business a bit, a, a bit slower or is it now picking up? I mean, do you feel already ah, maybe there is more demand for the metals? We are under deficits. Can you feel that already? I because think I think you you be one of the first because we need to explore more. Yeah, I think it's growing again. Mm -hmm. um, I think as a society and especially in the more higher level um, conversations, this is now understood. We need metals. Without metals, we can't get electric vehicles. We can't get phones. So I think this message is now being understood. I personally think it's starting to grow mm -hmm. again. It has been a, a few difficult years. I think you just need to put the proper strategy together, and and, and, and you know, not only consider one element of the of the cycle, but everything else that is coming along. I think partnerships, alliances are very important. Mm -hmm. You know, events like this one where we can actually spread the word and work together with, mm -hmm. with other um, partners in the industry is very important. So, this, you know, thinking about the SDGs, the alliances for the goals is a very important thing, but also, uh, you know, considering a, a little bit of all the elements. Mm -hmm. I think it's growing, which is a positive thing. Okay, super. Um, coming to ESG, you're the global head of ESG. So what means ESG for you, let's say, first of all, for your company? And where do you see ESG, let's say, maybe where are some deficits? Where are some good things in the mining industry? What, what is your feeling? What is my feeling? Um, I think every company needs ESG, for sure. Um, otherwise, it's like, not working. <laughs> otherwise, it's not working, especially in the mining, yes. in the mining sector. I think it's, be, it's been very positive. Yeah. Uh, there are now more and more mining companies implementing sustainability strategies, mm -hmm. actually uh, developing uh, departments in-house, which I think is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the, the feeling of sustainability is growing naturally, and it is starting to be understood a little bit more um, as a key element of strategic strategic decision making and mm -hmm. not just an independent um, department. So my feeling is that uh, we need to really analyze uh, what are the most material areas within ESG for different companies. So maybe for a mining company, the social involvement, the social commitment is very critical. Mm -hmm. But also the G. I feel like the good governance is being forgotten. Um, I feel like it's the, the most abandoned area because it's tricky. Uh, so obviously you need to consider where in the world are you operating, mm -hmm. what are the regulations in this country, um, you know, how does the government work in this country, if you need their mm -hmm. help or not. So I feel like the, the S is the, the social aspect is the side that we are most comfortable with in general, but I feel like the G needs to pick up a little bit more and this mm -hmm. will really help all of the industry to settle down, get some clear procedures in place. And, uh, and operate more transparently and, and you know, fluently. I think it's a big challenge. Okay, so environmentally, will you fly in the future electric? We are, yes, actually, really? we, we, we signed an MOU uh, oh. with Monte Aircraft to transition all of our aircraft into either hydrogen or hybrid mm -hmm. electric. Wow. But, you know, the technology is not yet available. So mm -hmm. we are really, you know, we, we have big teams in R&D and it's a big investment for us. Mm -hmm. We are definitely committed to do this. We actually are measuring our carbon footprint for the first time. Uh, we will get our reports in the end of the year and we plan to do this year on year because it shows our envi environmental commitment. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think, uh, you know, actually this morning I was uh, having breakfast and I saw on the TV that the first long haul uh, flight with cooking oil just mm -hmm. came, uh, just oh, came really? out now, wow. which is a, a big, big step. So, I mean, we all need to be committed and make, make sure mm -hmm. that whilst 
we are able and whilst we have the resources, we, we want to invest in making the world a little mm. bit more sustainable. Super. So you can contribute to environmental also with your aircraft. Exactly. Fantastic. We will do our best, yes. That's a great statement and commitment, Laura. Thank you very much. Thank Merry you Christmas. Very much. All the you best. Too. And keep it going, I would say, because we need to find a lot more metal for this energy we transition. Will. We will. Super. Thank, Thank you, you very much. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Laura Blanco Toro, the global head of ESG of Excalibur Multiphysics. And um, yeah, you heard it. This is a real, real important work. And it starts with ground geophysics and then comes the airborne geophysics. And then the companies really know, I would say, a approximately plus 90 95 percent they are sure where to drill where to spend the money and this is very important in not to wasting money but also to find the metals so the company is doing a great job here and uh, as you heard the environmental side of the esg side is also important they are also doing r d and have done an mou with a company for electric uh, airplanes with uh, hydrogen airplanes and Guys, that's the future. So check it out. Also for the mining companies, really check out that fantastic company. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from London, Mines and Money.